see your hands. I see your hands. And taser, taser. Got him. Oh my God, they just got ran over by that lady. Yep, there he went. Right there, dead. Don't do it. Oh, shit. Right in the ass. Panorama now. And he just 10 50 He just 10 50 Oh. I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. I was ready for it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to LSPDFR. Once again, we are in Polito Bay. We're going to do a Polito Bay Police Department patrol today. And as you can see, the marine layer, whatever you want to call it, the, the fog has rolled in. Uh, and it's going to stay here for the patrol today. You know what? I, out of all the weather I do, I never do fog patrol. So I was like, you know what? Let's change it up. We're using this uh, awesome Tahoe. It's got the double light bar. It's pretty sweet looking. I like the back and forth pattern on it. I uh, wish it kind of went had like the you know like the wig wagging up and down, but for the most part, it's a, it's a pretty badass vehicle. Now I'm still experimenting with the different vehicles right now. I'm not happy with the final selection I have. That's why the mod list has not been updated. So just give me some time on that before I get that squared away. Let's get out here on patrol. It is foggy. We're gonna be you know making sure people are not following too close. That's a big deal uh, in the fog for sure. Uh, and I also want to share something with you. It is Monday, and uh, I hope you had a great weekend. I had a great weekend. It was a, it was a lot of fun, actually. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, but I did want to share something with you. So, it was uh, when I got back from Spain. I got back from Spain, and I was like, you know, putting together vlogs. And and the company over there that I was working with, uh, Virtual Fly, they sent me a bunch of files. Now it required Dropbox. I don't use Dropbox. I use um. I use Google Drive. I love Google Drive. So I don't use Dropbox. So anywho, uh, I have to get Dropbox. Well, it's not enough room for that. So they're like, oh, you have a free trial for a business account of Dropbox and see if you like it. It's like, all right, you know, I haven't used Dropbox probably since 2012 when I used to do uh, video editing and production work. And uh, I was like, all right, so I'll, I'll go ahead and go for that. So uh, needless to say, I wake up today and it's like, congratulations on your uh, account renewal. I'm like, I, I don't want an account, especially not a business account. It's like, your uh, account was charged $1,200. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's that's a lot of money to just go, oh, well. So no, I, you know, I, I was displeased with them. I told them that on Twitter, but outside of that, I did contact their customer support and they were very nice actually on the phone. They're nice people. Uh, but I was able to get a refund uh, started. Uh, I canceled my account. I said I don't even want an, a Dropbox account. So if you ever get into that pickle for work or something, you're like, hey, I need to get this, uh, you know, business uh, account for Dropbox because, you know, then I can get the, the files I need today without having to have a, a Dropbox business account and yada, 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 yada. Well, on top of that, I, 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 everything that I had happened, you know, like the, the customer support was good and all that, but I just can't recommend it. Be beware if you uh, accidentally sign up for a trial. I mean, I never would have in my wildest dreams thought it would cost $1,200 for a Dropbox account, but you know what? You never know. I'm sure I missed some traffic uh, infractions and stuff off of cars. I'm just talking and, 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 and all that, so I'm not really paying attention to what's going on around me. I tend to get very uh, tunnel vision whenever I'm talking. Uh, okay. You know, let's just turn these lights on. Let's go right through this intersection so we can get back out on patrol. How about that? All right, sweet. Beep, beep. We'll turn our scroll lock on. I like to have the scroll lock on so none of the keys interfere. Now, on top of me just uh, hanging out, you know, talking with the uh, support customer support people over there at Dropbox, I was flustered and I was like, okay, well, I'm glad I got it taken care of. I come in here and I tell you what, I have always, always have a cup of coffee in the morning or whatever while I'm going through comments and responding to people. Uh, and the coffee spilled into my Razor keyboard. So it fried it immediately. I had no, um, I had none, none keyboard. <laughs> I had no keyboard. So luckily uh, my roommate Dave, he had a spare keyboard that I was able to use. So I'm on this Logi or HP just a basic basic keyboard so I might screw up some uh, keyboard functions I'm not used to it with that said long-winded I know let's get out here on patrol Attention, unit two, Lincoln 12. okay we got Citizens illegal immigrants in a truck on, um, great ocean highway. on great ocean highway 
46 E572. Imagine that. All right, so I think he's going to be around this corner, actually. Let's turn the scroll lock off and let's go. We'll just do uh, number two on the line. Actually, you know, let's go all code three on him. I want to try to find this vehicle before it gets too far away. I don't know if they're going south or if they're going north. Where well, the brakes on the Tahoe, they are interesting, let me tell you. Let's see if we can find this. It's going to be a mule box truck, essentially. Boy, the lights look great in the fog. They really do. All right, I don't see a mule going that way or that way. I think he's going to the right. Let's try that. We have a traffic oh, they got a hit on, on it. Great Ocean Highway. It's going north. It is going north. All right, we're going to head down this way, see if we can find it. I think it's right here in front of us with those lights on the back. 70 miles an hour to catch up to it. Yeah, that looks like a box fill. That's not it. Let's go around that guy. Move these cars out of the way. I think that's it up there. Quite possible. Unless they made a turn. But there's another one up here. We have yep, they lo we lost it again. Great Ocean Highway. Great Ocean Highway. Where, where the hell are they going with this thing? All right, I'm going to be responding now a little bit heavier. I really want to find this vehicle. It's not a code three response kind of thing, but I just don't want to lose them. I think that's them right there. No, nope, that's a big, big rig. We have a traffic alert. And oh, it's back sure there. Not. What the hell are they doing back there in uh, Cluck and Bell? You got to be kidding me here, people. Oh, there they are, right? What are they doing? Well, we know they probably picked these immigrants up that were working in the factory. They just crashed. Dispatch, suspect located. Moving to engage. You better stop that fucking piece of shit. We're going to ask for backup here immediately. Okay, they are stopping. We've got a 1099 in... Uh, I hate whenever you Gilead. hit A accidentally on that. All right, they're stopped right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run the plate on them. Uh, no. Scroll lock on. We have a backup coming here. It's a good old 46 E572. Let's see if anything comes back on it. Four, Jeff six, Powers. Edward, Edward King, five, seven, two, no, 10, All right, we got back up here. Let's go ahead and uh, make uh, contact with these. Well, with the driver and see if there's anybody in the back. You can open the truck by F. I hear people in the back. Hey, how you doing? Reason why I'm stopping is because you're looking a little suspicious back here driving around in circles. What's that about? You have identification on your proof of insurance. Get bump. All right. Jeff Powers. All right, Jeff, just uh, just sit tight for me, okay? You, you don't mind me searching your vehicle today, do you? Move the back of the truck to investigate it. Yeah, we know. All right, just have a seat. Right there. I'll be right back. God, those lights look awesome in the fog. Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, let's run his uh, information here. And then we're... I hear a riba happening back there. I'm going to get another unit down here. Attention all units. Actually, required. Uh, before I run his information, I'm going to hit open unit sesame. Hey, no, no, what? <laughs> hey, everybody stop what you're doing here. Come on now. All right. They're giving up. They're giving up. You guys... I know you want better lives, but you, you you can't be doing this stuff, man. All right, we got backup showing up right now. They're crashing back there. All right, I'm going to start with you. Stop! Police! You're just going to be detained right now, ma'am. We're going to get you guys uh, all squared away here soon enough, Whitney. The driver get out and run. I hope he didn't. No, he's out there. Okay. Only unit right now on scene to do this. Illegals at Cluck and Bell. This is a Cluck and Bell fiasco. It's what it is. Hey, my little dick. I know you guys want better lives on this, but you just cannot. You can't be doing it this way. And it's not humane to be in the back of a truck like this. Come on now. And get around this? No, can't get around it. Everybody just hang out for a second. All right, dude. You're hauling these people, and that's not going to be good. Okay. You're being placed under arrest right now for trafficking. Human trafficking, essentially. Jeff Powers. I'm just going to get an LD check on him right now. 
Can I get an LD check on? No, not Vic. Okay, Victoria, I guess. Look at how m You got a warrant for your arrest, Victoria. Come on now. All right, everybody over here. We need to figure this out now. Come over here. You have a seat, sir. You have a seat. I'm going to start with you. No, all you guys come over here, okay? Vamos. Have a seat. Have a seat on the ground. Have a seat on the ground, ma'am. You too. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here, okay? All right, let's get a ped check on this guy. I want to find out who everybody is here. We've got Jeff Powers. He's going to jail today for uh, obvious reasons here. All right, Jeff, go ahead and stand up for me, okay? You're, you're going to jail, man, for uh, trying to traffic these people. That's not cool, bro. Anything illegal on you that's going to poke me, stick me, or piss me off in any way? Used needles, mosquito repellent. Well, used needles is going to be drug paraphernalia charge. All right, bro. I'm over here. Ding, 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 ding. In you go. In you go. All right. We're going to need a multi-transport for these people. We're not going to really individually charge them. Uh, you know, they're they're scared and, and they're just trying to make a better life for themselves. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. So what I am going to do... Oh, not punch anybody in the face. Is I am going to have PT pick the uh, Jeff up here. Uh, a single transport for him. I want him separated from them. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest on um, Great Ocean. I want him to get picked up, and then we're going to have a multi transport pick all of these individuals up. They're just uh, probably going to get slapped on the wrist and then let go uh, if they. And probably deported, I, I would imagine. It's nothing really, really heavy against them. I am going to search the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle doesn't have anything illegal in it. You know, I'm actually quite surprised that this call-out turned out the way it did. I like this call-out a lot more than I thought I would. Hello. We got a Tahoe showing up right now to pick up Mr. Powers. Nothing interesting in a box of matches. All right, so the vehicle's clear. In fact... Okay, is she not going to take Asshole. him? Asshole. All right, Jeff, you're out of here, bro. Here, go ahead and take him. He'll probably just insta warp, and that's fine with me. All right, folks. I'm going to get uh, prisoner transport for these guys. I'm going to get a multi transport for them. All right, I'm going to move the truck myself. We need to get this open back up to everybody else, so let's go ahead and do that. Move the truck over here. Probably park it right over here, actually. And I'm going to move my car out of the way so we can get traffic flowing and get these sheriff units out. We don't have to listen to this manual siren. I keep forgetting to change that out. I need to do that. All right, we got that open now. All right, sweet. Yeah, we know you got a siren back there. All right, she's doing an Austin Powers turnaround. She's taking Jeff to jail. Oh my God, come on, you can do it, AI, you can do it. I've got faith in you. I've got faith in you, you can do it. Good day. Good day. All right, come on. You're gonna run everybody over, you're so stupid, lady. All right, so they're here to pick them up. If they don't run them over first, I don't know what that unit back there is doing. You are the worst fucking driver. I've been watching this show called Canada's Worst Driver, and she is terrible. Look at this. Oh, she figured it out. No, no, run the people over. Oh, my God. Oh, people, move. Move. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, a train coming. Jesus. Oh, that was so close. All right, everybody's walking around now. All right, we're, we're going to be code four off of this. This is a, it's turning into a shit show fast. I am going to get this thing uh, towed out of here. We got everybody. All right, sweet. I'm just going to have uh, a company, the company themselves. Uh, let's just get it towed out of here. I'm sure it can happen. No, you guys are done. They've, they've got you in custody, okay? Not me. Or do I need another transport for you? Probably. I get another transport, multi-transport for them. Assistance 
I'm over here so we don't die. Right over here. Right over here. Come on. Copy that. On the way. All right. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right. So they're going to get picked up by the other transport unit. We're code four off of this. We were able to uh, get everybody that was involved uh, into custody, and that's all that matters. We were able to get the driver, so he won't be uh, doing that anytime soon. Uh, and we're going to be code four. We'll be 10-8. What the hell is going on here? Okay, we got a truck fleeing from police right now. I'm gonna attempt to stop him myself. This unit right here is pretty adamant about getting him. And he's gonna smash right into him. Oh my god, he just got out of the vehicle. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired! Dude, get your gun out right now. Is he still there? Yep. He's down, he's down. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's close the road off. Let's close the road off. We're going to secure the weapon here. Is it clear? I'm just driving down the road and I hear, uh, I hear this truck honking the horn and acting crazy. And then I see it was a red blip and that unit right there is trying to stop him. We attempted to stop on him. He hits the brakes. He gets out with a weapon, starts shooting at us. We had to put him down immediately. Let's call for uh, an ambulance to get down here. All and try to close the road off right on. now Great the best Ocean we can officers report a civilian shot dispatch units from um, so once they get Palenco closer Bay. we'll open it up so i'm just going to do just that for right now and they're going to be closed off as well and i'm going to let them in here in a second all right as you get there i'm going to hit eight Road block removed so they can get in if they'd like. And they're on scene. Jesus, the truck just freaked out. And that person's stuck underneath there. All right, hold on. Let me get my Tahoe. I'm going to try and knock it over. This is turning into a hole to do now. The ambulance is on scene, but we have workers underneath that truck. Oh, my heavens. All right, hold on. Don't drop onto the people. There we go. There we go. I'm just, yep, it's going to rest the bumper right up against it right there while they work on that person's life. They're invisible now, so who cares? And if they can't save his life, then we're going to call the corner in here, which will probably happen. I love how the EMS just always shows up and just hangs out. They can't get in. All right, he's going to be okay. So, I mean, attempted murder on... A peace officer as well as, uh, you know, whatever he was being charged with before. But that's attempted murder, my friend. Not cool at all, bro. Not cool at all. This thing needs to get towed out of here. I don't even know how we're going to do it, though. Oh, let's get rid of that. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to push this thing off the road. Oh, uh, that always says deceased. Come on, baby, push. Yeah, I don't know if we able to push this thing off the road 100%. We can try to get a, a tow truck out here for it. I don't know how well that's going to fare, but I, I think we'd probably be better off just leaving it here for them to figure it out. Uh, we'll be code 4 off of that, and we'll be 10-8. Dispatch calling unit 2, Lincoln 12. We have a 484. We got a 484 in, in progress Lake right Bay. now. Well, I guess they're just being stopped for shoplifting is going to be down here. We'll be uh, headed down here. Code 2 right now. Alrighty. Here we go. 1M27. Show me uh, 23. Do secondary lights on that one. Let's find out what's going on with the shoplifting call in here. Oh, they got a person in the back. Hey, officer, the scun bag is in the back. All right, ma'am, no problem. We're going to figure out what's going on. All right. The, oh, the, the other uh, immigrants were picked up. That's good. Hey, what's going on? What's rolling today, public servant? Uh, there's just been an attempted shoplifting incident. Luckily, the suspect got caught while escaping. Stuff like this happens too often nowadays. He tried to steal items worth $276. Lies, you asshole. Why the fuck did this store get dedicated security? I'll need to head over downtown to get my free stuff now. So he's admitting to it. Shoplifting isn't a crime. These retailers are the criminals here. Have you seen the recent prices, officer? 
No wonder shoplifting is so common. Scrooges. But I was doing nothing. Just dozing around. This guy's lying. Okay, yeah. I doubt he's lying. You just admitted to it. Alright, so at this time, I am going to go ahead and grab my uh, taser out and place him under arrest. Police! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! All the way to the ground, sir. All right, so we are going to go ahead and uh, we're going to put place this, oh, this guy here in custody. If we can get it just right there. Oop, there it is right there. All right, you're going to be uh, placed on arrest right now for shoplifting. We're going to figure out what's going on here, Hector. You have anything illegal on, on you that's going to poke me, stick me, or anything like that? I appreciate you guys uh, holding them here. Glad you're able to catch him. $276, I mean, for a small little, you know, shop like this, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. All right, bud, come here. You have nothing. Not you. <laughs> Not you at all. All right, yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Take him out here. We're going to process him. We'll probably take him to the station ourselves. All right, bud. Into the car you go. Get into the police car. Willies. All right. We're going to do an arrest report on this individual. And uh, we'll get him taken downtown for shoplifting. Let's go ahead and toggle that. Toggle that. Uh, all right. Pet database Hector Martinez. That is him. You get an arrest report today, bud. That's the location. Charges are going to be for property. Going to be shoplifting. We're going to add that. Save that one. Hit back. Hit back. Hit back and log out. All righty. One Adam two seven show me uh, code four. I'll be ten seven with one to the station. I'll make a left turn around here. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. I'm gonna take Mr. Martinez down to the station here, and uh, he will be booked from there. All right. I like how that car moved out of our way. That was kind of nice of him. Sometimes they drive pretty slow down Polito Boulevard. All right, so I'll meet back up with you guys once we get down there to the station. All right, pulling into the department right now. We'll go around to the back. And Mr. Martinez will be booked for shoplifting. Hopefully he learns his lesson. He says he has to go to the downtown now to get his free stuff. Well, no free rides here, brother. You don't like that? Up a little further? Maybe right here? Nope. Oh, that's strange. Normally they want to, they have no problem picking them up. Well, there's a car in, in my way or something today. Strange. Ah, no big deal. I'll just call for prisoner transport. All right, they're here. They're going to transfer him down to Sandy Shores. I guess he's scum. Interesting. You know, we didn't check Hector Martinez's uh, records, did we? No, we didn't. Let's do it right in. Oh, yeah, he was valid and no warrants. It, it would have turned red. It would have grabbed my attention. But I just realized we didn't really, like, verbally say, hey, this is what was wrong with him. Early morning, that fog's still with us here. I think we're supposed to get some rain in the area soon, so maybe that'll move the fog out. We're going to be code four off that. We'll be 10 8. Got a uh, traffic stop backup required. All right. Yeah, we'll take that call. Palito Forest, it's right there off uh, Palito Forest, right off the one, it looks like. Copy that. We're moving right now. 10 4, copy that. I'm going to be code two down that way. The rain did move in and it moved out the fog, so that was nice. It's in the afternoon now. I hear his siren, so he must be up here on the right. One Adam 27, I'll be 23 out with that unit. Such a great looking Tahoe there. Hey, what's going on, man? He's taking off. He's taking off. It's an Infernus. It's an Infernus. All right, we got an Infernus taking off on us. Too, uh, it's going to be too risky for it. Let's get state down here as well. Uh, it's too risky for a helicopter right now in these conditions, so we're not going to have an air unit. We just got to stay with this dude. Are they on safe mode, hopefully? I think they might be. I'm going to wait for this. All right, dude. What are you doing? Okay, they're in safe mode, so I'll be the primary unit on them right now. 
We're gonna be wet, uh, south right now on US Route 1. Black and Furnace. We'll try to get the 28 on it. I don't know how he's gonna be able to handle the conditions, so this is gonna be interesting. Get ready to, for a play check. But it is uh, the first five minutes of the pursuit. We're gonna have a timer set so we can uh, try to pit this vehicle, traffic conditions permitting. And that's exactly what we want to do in these conditions. It'll be easy to pit a vehicle like this in the rain, so if we can do it, we want to do it. All right. Whoa, we just scathed by that dude. Here we go. We're going to get the plate on that vehicle there. Come on. One out of two, seven. Can we get a pit on this vehicle, please? Traffic light. Conditions are wet. Clear to pit. A traffic violation. Proceed with Owner's license is expired. Jesus, he just 10 50 into the rocks. This bike unit's trying to be a hero. All right, I'm going to go around him here. Come on. Okay, 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 we're on the side. You should never get in front of a vehicle that you're pursuing like this. There he is right there. I'll try to get back up with him. And we're going to try to get a pit on this vehicle here. If we can, we got to wait for the trap to be just right here. All right clear there. Let's go for a pit on him here. There's the pit. Pit looks like it was pretty successful. We're going to box him right here. Right up. Perfect. Oh, box him, box him, box him, boys. Good. You son of a bitch. You want to ram my shit again like that? Box him. He's done. He is done. He is done. No, why would you let him go like that? Come on, dude. Great. Now we're getting re absolutely wrecked by the AI. All right, well, we had him boxed. There's no reason why that should have happened, but what are you going to do? Our Tahoe's destroyed as it was smashed in by that unit. But it's driving still, so we're going to continue. Oh, they're losing their brains. All right, I've got eyes on that subject. South Route 1 right now. I'm going to try for another pit on this vehicle, even though we're completely smashed up into pieces. Oh, he just lost it. He just lost it on his own. Try to disable that vehicle again. Come on, get a box on him, boys. He's going north. North on the one. Crossing the bridge again, back towards La Gozancudo. He's stuck behind a trailer. He just 1050 with a trailer. Come on, bud. Go for another. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep, you're no, you're done. You're done today, dude. This guy is uh, pretty relentless right now. He does not want to go to jail. And if it's over this expired red or whatever, it's gonna be stupid. All right, we're in dry conditions now. He's gonna be stuck behind a journey. He's going around the journey. Go for another pit on this vehicle. Here we go. There it is right there. He should be pretty much done. Pretty much done. Push against him. Push against him. Box him, boys. Box him. He's going to get... You are the worst. You are the worst, you dumb ass. We're flipping around. We're going north now. Or, sorry, south. South on the one. Heavy damage to that vehicle. It's got to be disabled soon. Dude, get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. Got eyes on that vehicle again. We're going to go for another per, attempt, another pit on this dude. I don't know how he's still doing. I'm going to go from this side this time. There's the pit. He's losing it. He lost it. Damn, he's a decent driver, though. That's the thing. All right. Right here, right here, right here. He's going the other way. Now. Why would you smash into me again? All right, we're going to be north now on the one. We're just going back and forth. That is what we're doing here. I need additional We've units from the north. There they are right there. Copy Two that. more units. Dude. Let's go around this truck and go for another pit on him. After this motorcycle. Cop. Oh, into the wall. Trailer 200 losing their brains. Going the other way. One more try. Oh, he's hitting the brakes hard. There we go. That's the pit I wanted. Disable that piece of shit. Wreck him. There we go. Beautiful. That's the pit I wanted right there. 
Let's see those fucking hands. Get out. Get out. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. You're going to get tased, bro. You're going to get tased. Oh, he wants to get tased. Oh, no. He's dr He fell. All the way to the fucking ground, dude. You will get tased. You will get tased. All the way down. All right. Stay right there. Oh, my God. One Adam, two seven, ten fifteen. Connor Jackson. Can we get a LD on him? Twenty-seven, twenty-nine. Connor Jackson. What do you run from police for, dude? Expired license. Is that what this was about? Anything illegal on you? That shook me up. I wonder why it shook you up. You just fucking wrecked. A brochure, a note to mom, hard disk drive, and a postcard from Australia. Well, that note to mom. You can send that to her after you're in jail. All right, my my vehicle's absolutely demolished, so I'm gonna have a PT right here take care of him. We are gonna search the vehicle, what's left of it. My vehicle's completely trashed. Steam of my piss. Yeah, we know. Nothing interest. All right, well let's just get this piece of shit towed out of here, and we are gonna be code four finally off of that 1080 that was in progress, that pursuit. Thank you, Kelly. And first will be towed away on that vehicle there. I mean, look at the damage to this thing. That was crazy. Foggy patrol, and that was one hell of a pursuit I was not expecting. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of LSPDFR. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.